But does this mean traditional towers will disappear? Not at all. They complement each other. Traditional towers remain essential at complex airports, where on-site presence and immediate communication are crucial. But a digital tower system will coexist at large airports to provide contingency when needed. Remote towers, meanwhile, extend coverage to regional and rural airports, where controllers are difficult to recruit. Not to mention that traditional ATCs are expensive and complex to move at an active airport, whilst remote towers can easily be expanded and upgraded. It also allows airports to be opened only when there is traffic or an urgent need. For example, for emergency landings or medical flights, when an airport is normally closed. Together, they form a hybrid model. The trusted human presence of traditional towers, together with the technological edge of digital towers. Saab became a pioneer by building the very first digital air traffic control in 2015 and it's now being implemented at the world's largest airports. As the aviation industry continues to evolve, remote towers represent a rare shift in air traffic control, and their influence on the skies ahead is undeniable.